टूडे आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज ऑफ एम सी क्यू यू हैव टू फॉलो ऑल द एम सी क्यू ऑफ माइंड एंड देन यू विल फाइंड आउट दैट इट इज़ वेरी यूज फॉर यर फॉर यू एंड यू नो हु एम आई आई एम मिसेज दीक्षित वीना दीक्षित एंड आई एम इन के एक्सेलेंस इन केमिस्ट्री इज माई ऐप इट इज जस्ट कमिंग सोन सो हियर फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट सी एस थ्री सी ओ सी एस टू सी एस टू सी एस टू सी ओ एच दैट इज कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ग्रुप इज हियर एंड कीटो ग्रुप इज हियर एंड एन ए डी एच फोर इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट फॉलोड बाई हाइड्रोलिसिस दीज आर द फोर प्रोडक्ट्स आई हैव रिटर्न सी हियर दिस इज लेक्टोन दिस इज ऑल्सो इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस इज मिथाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस इज सिंपल इलेक्ट्रॉन हियर द लेफ्ट साइड नियर ओ इज मिथाइल ग्रुप हियर नियर दिस कार्बनल ग्रुप सी एस टी ग्रुप इज देयर एंड हियर इट इज ओपन चेन कंपाउंड इन विच ओ एच एंड सी ओ एच ग्रुप आर प्रेजेंट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दीज स्ट्रक्चर्स ट्राई टू डू योर सेल्फ एंड देन फाइंड द आंसर फर्स्ट इफ यू नॉट फाइंड द आंसर देन आई लाइक एक्सप्लेन यू ईच एंड एवरी थिंग ओके नाउ सेकेंड स्टेप अगेन आई एम डूइंग विथ डीलिंग दिस विथ आईडो फॉर्म इन रिएक्शन हियर सी हियर दिस इज साइक्लोहेगरोन एंड दिस इज दिस इज डायन बिकॉज डबल बॉन्ड ओ इज हियर डबल बॉन्ड ओ इज हियर एंड इट इज हैविंग थ्री अल्फा हाइड्रोजन सो इट विल डेफिनेटली इट विल गो हेलो फॉर्म रिएक्शन बिकॉज इफ अ कंपाउंड इज हैविंग थ्री अल्फा हाइड्रोजन दे विल अंडर गो हेलो फॉर्म रिएक्शन आईडो फॉर्म विल बी फॉर्म इफ आई डो इन आयोडीन इज वी आर टेकिंग आयोडीन प्लस एन यू एच एन ए वाई देन दे विल फॉर्म I do form that is CHI three, but the second compound B you have to find out because CHI three is common in all the four cases. See one two three four all there is CH CHI three I do form. But the what is the second product of this reaction? You do it, you write it first and do it your own, and then you will find if you will find the answer, it's good. You write down in the comment box, and if you don't, I will explain you everything. Now in third case here, this is missing link because here Grignard reagent is given to you, and they are asking what is we have to add A, so we'll get the CS3, CS2, CS2, CS2O, and GBr, and then followed by hydrolysis we'll add B, and with KMnO4 with oxidation we'll get C. So see here A, B, and C, these three you know intermediates or reagents you have to find out. Try yourself, write down everything. and then we will discuss the answer do it first good if you like my you know this uh, channel you subscribe me and you share it with uh, your friends okay because competition is not between your friends competition is you know with your other countries you have to compete with americans with our canadian europeans you have to compete okay so you have to fight you have to be the best here see cs3 co cs2 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 coh the same i am uh, giving you answer of the first one so i have written the complete compound co group is there coh group is there as we know that nabh4 what is the tendency of nabh4 it reduces ketone into 2 degree alcohol okay ketone is reduced to 2 degree alcohol so this um, and coh will remain unaffected so coh will remain as such so this oh of um, alcohol group and uh, this um, c double bond o um, is their carboxylic group so oh from carboxylic group and h from this only h will be gone from here so water will be formed okay so when first and fifth carbon are linked together and the o is in between them the first carbon and fifth carbon there will be o so this is first carbon this is fifth carbon in between the fifth carbon there is o so ch3 will be here okay so you have to search the answer if you find out ki where is o and then you have to see whether it is right or wrong and you can answer it so do you find out there is something missing over here or not no answer is a because near o there will be ch3 see here a in case a i will show you again in case of a there is ch3 and here ch3 here okay so this is what is this alpha beta gamma delta this is i have written delta also so delta so it will be 
delta lepton we can say or it will be cyclopentane 5 olide i have not written this that is 5 methyl i have to write down 5 methyl cyclopentane uh, you write down this 5 methyl okay cyclopentane 5 olide because this fifth carbon is having connected with oxygen okay now for second we'll go that uh, there is uh, i told you that there is three alpha hydrogen i2 plus nh will react with this so intermediate is first of all we'll find, here i have written the complete you know what is the product we obtain see here it cleavage will occur from here so it will give you chi3 which so all the three alpha h is replaced by i and then see this uh, follow, um, followed by hydrolysis so coona will be coming over here and it will be converted into acid so we will get uh, what is it this is alpha, alpha this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon you know beta um, if uh, co group is at beta carbon so decarboxylation takes place most of the time students are writing this option correct this is not the correct answer because on heating the co2 will be removed it will be go away it will be kicked out okay so we'll get cyclohexanone again i am saying three alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogen are replaced by three iodine okay so we'll get um, i have not written complete you know mechanism over here because uh, by their practice you understood key three alpha uh, three hydrogen are replaced by this and when uh, we um, doing hydrolysis by nh so H is coming here to send then CHI3 will form and ONA will coming along with this carbonyl group. So we'll get COONA and for water with hydrolysis of with water it will convert it into this beta keto acid, beta keto carboxylic acid. And always beta keto acids on heating, decarboxylation takes place and formation of cyclohexanone takes place. Clear? Formation of cyclohexanone takes place. Now in the third step we will find out. See here the missing links we have in that case missing links was there. A, B and C. You have to find out A, B and C. Here it is Grignard reagent, CS3, CS2 and GBR. What will react with A? So we will get CS3, CS2, 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 O, M, GBR. We have, what you have to do? First of all you have to count the number. 2 carbon here. There are two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon. Okay. Oh, not 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon. Here 4 carbon is there. Okay, and O is there. So immediately oxygen should be in your mind because the, um, this CS3, CS2, MGBR, it is given to you and you have to search out only this uh, uh, oxygen, that is epoxide. Okay, so when epoxide will be coming over here, the, it will cleave and o, it will form OMGBR, you can do from anywhere and you will get OMGBR, wait, just wait, it is not balancing, just wait, okay, so you will get MGBR and followed by hydrolysis, you will get alcohol, this will be 1 degree alcohol. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, oxygen uh, is there, epoxide is there, and you will get CS3, CS2, CS2, OMGBR, and followed by hydrolysis, you will get 1 degree alcohol. And how many carbons are there? 4 carbon. And with KMNO4, by the action of KMNO4, definitely you will get acid because this 1 degree alcohol is oxidized into acid. I will repeat it again because of some, some disturbances, it was disconnected. CS3, CS2, MGBR, A, A will be oxygen, methyl oxide, epoxide, you can say oxygen or epoxide, simple. Epoxide, I am saying here. So, you will get to see this, the complete CS2, CS2 and OMGBR. O is there, so this CS3, CS2 remain as such and CS2, CS2, OMGBR and followed by hydrolysis, you will get 1 degree alcohol, okay. 1 degree alcohol on oxidation give you. 4 carbon acid that is butanoic acid. 4 carbon acid that is butanoic acid. Sometimes they can ask you in different way. They can ask you convert ethyl bromide to butanoic acid. So see 2 carbon compound is converting 
into four carbon ascending series long jump two carbon increased so whenever two carbon increase three carbon increase you must remember either you if it is two carbon increase you can think about oxygen also if it is three carbon four carbon five carbon or a benzene ring is you know considered then it means there must be a grignard reagent which is having that much alkyl group which will fulfill the desired product okay so here um, as i we have discussed ethyl bromide so write on c2h5 br it reacts with mg uh, dry ether then you'll get grignard reagent c2h5 mgbr which on when reacting with this um, oxygen epoxide again the one degree alcohol you'll get we have done that earlier after hydrolysis you'll get one degree alcohol here it will get you'll get ch3 ch2 ch2 how many carbons are there four so ch2oh four carbon alcohol you'll get and on oxidation you will get butanoic acid is that clear thank you for watching and uh, if you like the video you must share and comment and please subscribe my channel thank you